Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeff Shinholt, and I've been attending Crossroads with my wife, Mary, for 13 years. I serve as an elder at the Westminster campus. I belong to a small group, and I'm part of the worship team. As I was thinking about Sunday's message from John O'Contestable, his reference scripture was from 1 Kings 19, where we look into the ministry of the prophet Elijah. He was God's go-to guy when he needed to send a message to his people or undertake a task that could only be accomplished by the power of God. Now, you would think that if Elijah was a witness to the movement of God's power and sovereignty, the many miracles performed in his life, that Elijah would be the first to step forward to be used for God's holy purpose. But when his life was being threatened, he did not run toward the enemy, but he retreated with the hope of finding shelter in a cave. In fact, his faith and his desire to press on was like the cave he had found, dark and empty. And it was at that moment that he prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord. Take my life, said Elijah. But God did not end his life then, but restored the faith and strength of Elijah, who would continue to do God's will. So how about you? How about me? Can we see ourselves like Elijah, who saw firsthand of the countless miracles orchestrated by God? only to run away when times got hard or even dangerous. Yet we are not alone in this behavior. I know personally that there are many times in my past when I ran away from trouble and when it came my way. But even so, God still uses me in ministry even when I think I'm not good enough or strong enough to do the work of God. Remember, in our weakness, He is made strong. God knows who we are and whose we are. We are His. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.